And now we just have to put the needle in. Good morning. And welcome to rainy Boston. Rainy Boston, but that doesn't, the sun is still shining in our hearts. Not really, it's kind of dreary. But, no, but it's okay. <laughs> yeah. No, but I'm gonna make a ham sandwich anyways. So, welcome to our day. What are you making for lunch? Just saying. Just saying. What are you doing today? You're doing IVIG. I am going to do IVIG. I was having a lot of stomach pain this morning, so I had turned up the rate last night on my feeding tube and it felt totally fine. So I went up a little bit more, so I got up to 50 and I was on 50 all night and I thought that it was fine and this morning my stomach hurt really bad or my jejunum I don't know something in my guts hurt really bad um and then I ended up putting this is like so if you have a g-tube which is a tube that goes into your stomach they often talk about venting which means like opening up this cap and putting on like a open syringe so that bubbles or air or whatever's in your stomach can vent out, can come out. But they don't, it apparently doesn't usually work for a J-tube. And when I've done it, it usually doesn't do much. But today I hooked it up and it like exploded. So there's a lot of pressure in there. Yeah, like lots of air, I guess. I don't know. So anyway, um, my pain is gone. I'm back down to 15 mLs per hour. Um, so we'll just keep working up slowly. All right, so I'm gonna make lunch and then we'll access Mary's port and get moving with IVIG. I just primed, well, I took the IVIG out of the bottles it comes in and put it in an IV bag and uh, primed it in the pump. And now we just have to put the needle in. So here's my port without a needle, right there. And here we go. needle in your chest. All right, time to hook up. Thank you, baby. You're welcome. Another successful port access. Yeah, so Mary's gonna hook up. I've got a meeting for church and we'll see you guys later. I am all hooked up and I have to take um, pre-meds for IVIG, Benadryl, and Tylenol um, just to prevent a reaction. And so I'm in my Benadryl slump. I just kind of sit here and look at the computer. Uh, that's what I'm up to. Peter just had a real short meeting tonight. And um, I'm not sure what he's working on now. All the stuff. All the essentials. And I'm eating a baked potato. And I'm eating an Oreo. <laughs> All the essentials. Ah, 
I was just gonna show them. You guys know what that means? I almost think I ain't got no meat on my chest. Not yet, but she is done IVIG and she's gonna flush her line and then. Oh, you already did? And they already saw it. Oh my goodness. What but am I I've even never doing here? I'm accessed while I'm doing my vest, so this will be a first. Are you gonna do it while you're doing your vest? I mean, you only live once. This vlog could turn into a bloody mess. <laughs> oh my goodness, I don't think that's gonna happen. Got no needle in my chest, in my chest. I ain't got no needle in my chest. Yeah. Good job, babe. Proud of you. That's funny. Is it bleeding? I don't think so. Okay, good. Okay, maybe a little bit. That's normal. Yep. <gasps> Look, it's Mr. Oliver. Did you hear that we were vlogging? You were sleeping so soundly. I didn't want to tell you. But I'm glad you came. Want to go get your dinner? Want to go get your dinner? Come on. Let's go. Oliver likes to eat off of a Tupperware plate. It's his, uh... I was going to say utensil of choice, but, uh... Serving dish of to choice. Because he would often um, pour out his bowls. We've shown you guys that. He, he would dump his bowls. But the plates, he has no problem. I think with the bowls, he didn't like sticking his face down into the bowl. So, I don't know. These are my speculations. So sometimes I wish he could talk. All right, guys. We got this cubicle to go. Well, we decided to put medical stuff down here in it. So I'm going to try putting this thing together. Think you can help me, Bones? Maybe your little doggy over here can help. Cause putting this stuff together. Although this is this isn't too many pieces. I think we can do it. Here we go. We did it, Ollie. You were a lot of help. Actually, it wasn't bad at all. It just kind of fit together pretty perfectly. Now, I think we're going to put it over here, like, in the dining room area. Oh, sorry, Bones. I'm coming. I think we're going to put it right here. And we got these boxes on clearance at Target that we're going to put together and put in there. So, let's see how this looks. Okay, so that's tricky. These fit in there, but they don't actually fit. I like stuffed them in there, but it's like too tight. That's weird, I thought this was like a universal cubicle thing. Maybe I tightened it. I don't think that's possible that I tightened it together too much. But, and like down here, it doesn't fit at all. It's weird. Interesting. We'll see what Mary thinks about that. Okay, so I feel really dumb right now. <laughs> I'm like, how do these things not fit in here? And it never occurred to me that perhaps I have the cabinet sideways. And if I pull these out, if I, I just need to turn the whole thing, I thought it would be the same this way is this way, but apparently not. It goes like that. So I gotta flip it. I didn't know there was a top side or a side. Did you guys know that? You probably already left it in the comments telling me this. <sighs> okay, now I'm questioning my sanity. I flipped it this way, and this one's like, oh, this is exactly how it should go. But n none of the other ones <laughs> fit like that either. I mean, it's closer, like, this one kind of goes, but I'm wondering if I tighten the screws that on here too tight. Is that possible? Oh, I don't know. 
Well, we put buckets on top of it. Okay. I am thoroughly losing my mind now because I just discovered that it's not actually the cubicle. It's the boxes. <laughs> Look, this is the one that was over here. And it goes fine in that one. Let's see if it goes fine in this one. Well, yeah, it pretty much, it's a little tighter right there, but that one works. But it's, this one's really tight. Well, maybe they're adjusting. Okay, that one works. Okay, let's try the last one. Maybe we'll get... I think it was just the boxes all along. Okay, there it is. And they're pretty much working. I think the, the boxes will get a little looser as time goes on. I'm guessing that is weird. But it pretty much works. And it's crazy. It looks like these like were made for this shelf. But we got these at two different stores. And... Hey, that looks pretty cool. The fry life. So there you have it, Ollie. Life is like a box of do-it-yourself furniture. Just when you think you have it figured out. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Just when you think you have it figured out, you realize you don't. And that's a good reminder. Well, Mary came down here, and the buckets are still tight in that. <laughs> but show. way to go! Oh my Thanks. goodness, so, I was surprised. I think we might use it without the buckets. We'll see if the buckets fit in the uh, one that we have upstairs. Yeah. Anyways, buckets, boxes, cubes. Cubes, cube baskets, boxes. whatever you call them. Containers. Containers, consumers. All right, guys. Everybody give Peter a thumbs up. He's been working all day on business stuff and sermon and putting boxes together. <laughs> Thanks, guys. And we're going to wrap it up for the night. And as, as always, always, we will see, see you tomorrow. tomorrow. Good night.